Hey guys, another crappy looking day here. Cold, overcast. I had to take a tire off my Kubota. I want to show you how I don't need no stinking jacks to take tires off my Kubota. And there you have it. <laughs> Now, I definitely would not be crawling underneath this thing at this point, let me tell you. It weighs about 3,500 pounds, but I can get the tire off. i got to change out a valve stem. It got tore up going through the woods, and it's always leaking air all the time. I'm getting tired of constantly putting air in this car. So, just drove her up on the hill until she tipped. feels pretty freaking weird, let me tell you, man. It feels like it just wants to tip right over. Angle doesn't look that severe, I know, but it was enough. <laughs> so, ten dollars later, over here at Bones Mill Auto Service, I got my tire back in the trunk and ready to put her on. Yeah, there she is, back together. Got to tighten it up. Don't have a 17 millimeter tire iron, so I had to use my ratchet for a little leverage here. I got the old handlebars off my Buell Ulysses. When I went to the uh, shorter TT handlebar. Yeah. And this is how we get her done on Little Mountain. Don't need no stinking jacks. Don't need no stinking tire irons. Ten dollars later. Took about ten minutes. And I'm back in business. And there you have it.